Hey, it's Tim, Tide Pool Tim Sheehan from Gulf of Maine. We're on the beach and we're going to look at limpets. Limpets are a type of a mollusk and a pretty interesting little creature. They like to live on smooth rocks. See how smooth this particular rock is? And this little guy here, that's the limpet. And limpets graze. They're like cows. Cows move along with their nose in the grass. Limpets slide along the rock move in their shell, but they're always protected. If something comes and wants to try and eat this limpet, it suction cups itself right to the stone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it off the stone so you can see. Gotta use your finger now. They look like on the underside. There's a limpet. It's like a snail, but instead of having a kind of whorled shell, it's got a hat type shell. And we'll set him right there. You can see what he looks like. They have tentacles, just like a snail. And there's lots of them on the beach. You don't often see them uh, when you're just walking by. But if we take a look around, I'm sure we can find a bunch of limpets. Now it's low tide. The tide's been out. This little guy's been sitting here for maybe two hours, high and dry. But they don't have to worry about drying out because this little limpet can just suction cup itself to the rock, push its shell right against the nice smooth rock, and it keeps it from drying out. It keeps predators like a green crab uh, or a... Uh, a moon snail or something for coming along eating it. And you can see this little guy's on the move. But let's look for some more limpets. Come along here. We're going to look at smooth rocks and see what we can find. Limpets there. No. How about here on this little piece of rock weed? No, no limpets there. Let's see. Where can we find... Aha! I spotted one right here. There's a limpet. Pretty small on that stone there. Let's see. Pick that stone right up. There he is. And limpets can get quite large. It can get as, uh, as big as my thumb. Let's look around. Now here's, here's some periwinkles on a rock. Those would be a cousin to the limpet. And the limpet, you, I can't really show you on this video, but it's called the tortoise shell limpet. And the genus name is A-C-M-A-E. Acmea, I think is how it's pronounced. There's a limpet. Here's another one, dried. He looks kind of dried out on the rock, but just waiting within a, maybe 10 minutes, so the limpet will be underwater again and happily grazing around. Now, in terms of a place to live, this guy's probably not going to get too big unless he moves to a new rock. There's not a lot of grazing surface there. The larger the stone, the larger the limpet can grow because there's just more food. So if we find a big, smooth rock, which we might down the beach here, we might be able to find a larger limpet. But once again, they need a smooth rock. Now this guy, he set up shop in sort of a, not not the best place because this rock, look at it, kind of bumpy. That's not gonna make for good feeding. So he's probably doomed to an early death. Now let's check this rock out here. There's some fucus, some rock weed, a couple of periwinkles. Now there's a limpet. Not large, but he's on his way. Now this particular stone, oh look, there's a whole bunch. He's sharing his rock with a whole bunch of other limpets. See those? sharing also with another type of a grazer, the periwinkle. But there's little bits of algae that grow on this rock as the sun shines down on a blue-green bacteria, or blue-green algae will grow there. And uh, all of these little grazers, these limpets, are feeding on it. So come back to this rock in a couple years and you will probably see a limpet that's the size of a quarter. That is, unless something comes along and eats it. That's it for tortoiseshell limpets. Typo Tim, checking out.